Hey everyone, I'm author Rob Sanders coming to you from the Tampa Bay, Florida area. And I'm here today to read one of my nonfiction books to you, Pride, the Story of Harvey Milk and the Rainbow Flag. The illustrations are by Stephen Salerno, and I'm pleased to be able to show those to you as I read you the story. Harvey Milk was an ordinary man, but he had an extraordinary dream. That dream would change history. Harvey dreamed that everyone, even gay people, would have equality. He dreamed that he and his friends would be treated like everyone else. He dreamed that one day, people would be able to live and love as they pleased. With his New York accent, Harvey talked to everyone about his dream. His voice boomed, his body bounced with energy and excitement. Some people listened, a few agreed, most did not. But Harvey's big voice and his big dream wouldn't be stopped. He discovered that the best way to change laws was to help make laws. In 1977, Harvey Milk took a big step toward that dream when he became one of the first openly gay people to be elected to political office in the United States. Harvey and his friends planned marches to protest inequality and unfair laws. And just days before one of the marches, Harvey had an idea. A symbol, he thought. We need a symbol that shows who we are and how we feel. Something to carry during the march. Something to make people feel they're part of a community. Something to give people hope. Something extraordinary. Harvey knew an artist who could help, Gilbert Baker. Harvey asked, Gilbert said, we need a flag. Volunteers arrived to help Gilbert's design come to life. Together, they dipped fabric into large barrels filled with vivid, vibrant dyes. They cut and pieced and sewed until Harvey, Gilbert, and the other activists had a flag a flag with eight colorful stripes, a flag that Harvey hoped would give hope. On June 25th, 1978, when it was time for the march, a breeze stirred in San Francisco, the flag unfurled. The wind blew, the flag fluttered, flapped, and flew, a rainbow as bright and unique as the men and women who walked behind it led the march. Harvey and the people asked for equality. They asked to be treated like everyone else. They asked to live and love as they pleased. They hoped the march would make a difference. Harvey was proud of the flag and proud of himself. He hoped others could be proud too. Five months later, on the morning of November 27, 1978, Harvey and the mayor of San Francisco, George Moscone, were assassinated. Their lives were lost to a man who did not think like Harvey or feel like him or love like him. The flag did not fly on that dark, sad night. Instead, thousands and thousands of people marched silently, carrying candles. The candlelight wove through the streets of San Francisco, up and down hills and around city buildings, a mile of glowing candlelight in honor of a dream. That could have been the end of Harvey's dream and the colorful flag, but it wasn't. More rainbow flags were created. Some of the colors changed. Eight stripes became six stripes. But the meaning of the flag did not change. It was a flag of equality. More and more people began to think of the flag as their flag. And they began to feel pride. They began to have hope. 
1994, Gilbert Baker designed another rainbow flag. This one was larger than all the rest. Women and men side by side carried the flag, a proud mile long rainbow floating through New York City. The flag wove through the streets, up and down avenues and boulevards and around city buildings. The people demanded equality. They demanded to be treated like everyone else. They demanded to live and love as they pleased. They were proud. They had hope. More rainbow flags were made. Some were printed on bumper stickers and t-shirts. Others were hoisted, hoisted onto lampposts on Halstead Street in Chicago. One was hung in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Soon the rainbow flag was flying in other countries like Brazil, England, Israel, Russia, Singapore, and Turkey. The rainbow flag now unfurled on farms, in suburbs, and in cities. The flag flew proudly outside public buildings, hotels, shops, restaurants, churches, and homes. And once, on June 26, 2015, the White House was awash in the colors of the rainbow flag. Equality, pride, hope, love. Harvey's dream became a flag for us all.